Our blood is made up of millions and millions of cells, and the vast majority of them are our red blood cells, also known as erythrocytes. These cells are the most abundant cells in the human body, with an impressive number of around 25 trillion cells, which is roughly 80% of all our cells. But what do these cells actually do? The red blood cells have a few very important functions. They transport oxygen and carbon dioxide and play an important role in regulating our blood pH. When we take a breath, air travels through our respiratory tract to the alveoli in our lungs. Here the oxygen gets very close to our blood and the red blood cells is therefore able to pick up some of that oxygen as they pass by the lungs. The oxygen is bound to an iron containing molecule called hemoglobin which gives the cells and your blood a deep red color. As your heart beats, your blood gets pumped through your circulatory system to all cells in your entire body. The smallest and thinnest blood vessels are called capillaries. And these are so thin that the red blood cells can deliver their oxygen cargo to nearby cells. The cells use the oxygen to make energy. And this process makes carbon dioxide as a waste product. The red blood cells that just delivered their oxygen then picks up the carbon dioxide waste and travels back to the lungs where you exhale it. Each red blood cell makes this trip once every minute or so, and will over its lifespan of around 120 days circulate your body more than 200,000 times before it gets retired by the spleen. These cells are usually shaped a bit like a donut, but they will change shape depending on the salt concentration in the fluid then. Here I have increased the salt concentration, which pulls water out of the cells and makes them shrivel up to a star shape. If we decrease the salt concentration, water rushes into the cells, which expand like a balloon until they burst. However, not all cells in our blood are red blood cells. Another very important type of cell is the white blood cell, but let's save that for another time.